Welcome back to People. I'm Shirley Lin. I'm speaking with Arthur Huang, who is the founder and managing director of MiniWiz, a sustainable development company. Yes. Right. Well, what else does、um, MiniWiz do?、Um, I'm seeing something here. This is part of what you do in the company. Can you explain what this beautiful thing is? It's actually a wine rack. It's、right. like a wine carrying case. So you can actually, I mean, before I get into the material side, I can actually just show you. This is actually where you put the wine, and you can actually use it as a packaging when you actually carry, carry wine、it. back、mm-hmm. from the shop. Okay. And it can be interlock. Yeah. To create a, a collections、um, of、uh, wine holding case. Right. It can also be turned around into this direction, and you can become a wine rack. It can be stacked efficiently this direction. Oh, I get it. And one of the key component for this. Key、uh, features for this product is that it actually protects the wine from dropping onto the ground. Seriously, you mean if you drop this whole thing with a bottle of wine inside, it's not going to break? The wine's not going to break, but the, the case might break. break. Yes.、Uh, really? Yes. This、oh. is、uh, part of a R and D that we do because we have a lot.、Uh, we have mechanical, structural, and chemical engineers in our company that we are helping. Um, to turn a waste material into something useful, of course, if something is useful, preferably the initial type of products that we want to get into are products that are sexy. Okay. Wine is a very sexy habit, so we want to try to use the very not so useful products, a useful material like waste computer. A lot of a waste computer has a lot of nice、um, heavy metals and. Precious metal in it. Once you extracted the heavy metals and the precious metal, you're left with a lot of trash.、Mm. That trash is actually、um, the glass fiber. Okay. So this material is actually glass fiber mixed with、um, plastic bottle cap. Okay.、Oh. The cap is made from PE. Uh huh. So this is also 100% made from trash. Oh. Okay. So But you were saying that this was like the frame of a computer. No, the the、no? motherboard. Oh, the motherboard. Yeah. Frame. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't know it was made from glass so, fiber. So yeah. So actually, the waste recycled glass fiber. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this actually won、um, the innovation award for CES Consumer Electronics.、Mm. You will you probably wonder、uh, when you see this at the Consumer Electronic in Las Vegas, what is this? How is consumer electronic related to wine?、Mm. Okay, it、yeah. is because this is the end of a consumer electronics. It's turned into a lifestyle products. Ah.、Uh. So, which is,、uh, I think, this is a very interesting shift uh, from uh, it's, people get surprised. Or、oh, how is this related to electronics? Yeah, you thought of the design for that.、Uh, actually, my company did. Okay,、uh, so there is a group of very talented people、uh, in the office.、Um, for example, the the this product design actually is you know, derived from our R and D directors,、mm. who is、uh, a local Taiwanese educator, engineer, and architect, who who love packaging. Oh, packaging! So this is a packaging solutions、yes. for lots of different products.、Mm. Now I understand your team of what you've got forty people. Yes, and they're from not just Taiwan, but also from Italy, Germany, and Russia. Yes. How did you find all these people? Were they were, were you guys like classmates together? No, a lot of them are.、Uh, we are classmates together.、Mm-hmm. Um, so you, you can imagine、uh, when I was growing up.、Uh, you know, we have lots of friends from Cornell, lots of friends from, and then their friends. Then we meet, and we have similar goal. I have, they have、um, new skills and talents which we need. So then we kind of all came together、um, as a team. And for a young team like ours, our average age is around thirty, thirty-one.、Mm-hmm. Uh, for a design or engineering firm, that's actually quite old. Actually. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, because you, you, when you go to an architecture office these days, you actually see one older professional with all these twenty-three, twenty-four-year-old. 
Uh-huh. Our office is actually not like that. Our office is actually more on the uh, lower end of the twenties and the lower end of thirties, uh, which is interesting because when you acquire a certain professional skills, um, what you are looking for is actually uh, um, a stage uh, to actually be able to implement what you have learned, and so we are creating a a stage per se, or a platform mm-hmm. for talented people to be part of this solution. All right. Well, actually, older people are smarter, right? Because we have more experience. I, I think in general, there's <laughs> nothing called older people or younger people. I think it's a mindset issue. Oh, okay. okay. Um, but I think in general, um, people in the office, even even at different ages, I'm, I'm considered one of the older ones in the office. Right. Um, but I, I have to say, I think in, in my mind, I'm actually probably younger than you're most of the young people. Young at heart and young in mind. <laughs> no, you're curious. Curious. Uh, people have to be curious about their surrounding. Oh. Uh, what I'm actually most afraid of um, is a lot of a young hire we have these days mm-hmm. who has a huge conflict. Of course, them. you're not talking about your colleagues. <laughs> uh, I mean, before, young people in general. I mean, no, actually, even uh, and, young people we thought were very talented, okay. but they're not curious. Oh. They're not curious about the surrounding. They're not curious about uh, why we're doing a certain things. Mm-hmm. It becomes a huge conflict. Uh, mm-hmm. So I think for us, as long as we're always curious Mm -hmm. doesn't matter what age you have Mm. Uh, and then the platform is there to support all kinds of innovations Mm -hmm. and one other thing um, we value a lot is not talking about something okay it's about doing Doing, something putting into action yes what is this other thing can you um so these are um i can show you here oh yeah Um, sure so these are actually made from, again, rice husk, mm-hmm. which is, imagine you eat a bowl of rice. Yeah. You actually have 20% of material are wasted that you don't know of. You just know I'm eating a bowl of rice and turn to my feces. Oh, but mm-hmm. in reality, there is 20% of waste. Where does that go? Go to landfills, go burn it, use as heat recycling. So we're using that material, and we turn that into a structural enhancement for a lot of the plastic material. Uh-huh. Uh, so we're using the uh, rice husk as a structural enhancement, cosmetic as enhancement, uh, also strength enhancements. Um, so the material technology is very simple. There's only three ways of making pla- uh, waste plastic strong. Uh, you can fold it like a paper. Yeah. The other way is obviously you can bridge it which is having these little, you know, what we call carbon fiber, right? It's actually mm-hmm. bridging the material to create a stronger bond. You're linking material to material. Mm-hmm. The third way, which is one of the things that we invented, um, let's say innovated, okay. is called silicon dioxide from the rice husk and the barley husk. Mm-hmm. And the husk has a lot of silica. Silica is a type of, I mean, this guy gets a little bit too technical, but... Basically, we are changing the molecular structure of the waste material. The reason why waste material are not used before is because it's softer, it's weaker, it's not as appealing, it's not having this design factor, it cannot be accurately remanufactured, it cannot be economical when you actually remanufacture them. A lot of this... um, Technology we we innovated is to make trash usable in the consumer sp- uh, space, fireproofing, uh, structurally uh, sound, okay, and it's also appealing enough to be hugging over a beautiful iPhone, mm-hmm. okay, and accurate enough to be able to control the manufacturing. So this is the type of technology we are looking at, mm. and we are innovating. And we are turning that into a product. I understand that MiniWiz has a motto called No Virgins. You want to explain what that is? Yeah. Um, first of all, <laughs> it's 